construction, school construction for local contractors and minorities. Mr. Robson, welcome. How y'all doing this afternoon? Good. 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 How you are? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I didn't start that by saying right. I'm the and I'm careful for you right now. But when I come here to discuss this afternoon is I represent contractors and minority workers. Um, we are totally exhausted from being exempt from the process. And it seems as if there's something vitally wrong in our system, from the school board, from education, to the city. There's a tremendous problem that we have. We have a school that's under construction right now, and all of the contractors are from out of town, and we don't have any contractors that's locally that's working on the project. And it's bad when the children have to say to their father, and that's a brick mason, saying that, why aren't you out here working on our school? Why aren't you out there working on the school, Dad? And some plumber says that, why aren't you out there working? And see, the economics here is dead against us. And it seems as if there's some type of diabolical plotting scheme that's always being orchestrated against the people in our community. We are sick and tired of it. We, 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 we no longer want to keep tolerating it. It seems as if someone is constructing some type of diabolical plan that's just directed against the black community for some, for some reason. We just can't seem to get any, any, anything done. We need to be involved with some of this money that's being spent. I'm not going to get up and say federal funds. I'm talking about dollar bills. Money that can help educate our children that we can do better than we are doing. When they come into our communities right in the middle of a black town and sit up and build a whole construction of a school, and we, and we see all Hispanics and everybody out there working, and, and the local people can't even get a job, and they house the little children running around playing. And then you guys are part of, the, you're part of a system, and you make a difference. I commend you for the things that you do, that you do right, but I condemn you for the things that you do wrong. And the thing that you're doing wrong is you, you're really not putting no true emphasis. You're not putting no real good into it. I went out and talked to a contractor this morning, and I asked him, I said, how have you solicited any contract? He said, we printed in the paper. He said that uh, we went through the bid process. He didn't even give me a chance to, to really elaborate on really why we were there to have our discussion. He had that, from his answer, it was something that was already pre-discussed. You see, as if he already had known that they were going to be from out of town, that we weren't getting a local contract. We are tired of that. We're sick of that. And you guys will come up here and you sit up and you look all dignified, but you ain't looking at the, 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 the immorality that's occurring in our communities. We are taking tired of our children running around and having to go for the second best and got to run around and guys getting shot in the head and, and all these kind of things in our neighborhoods and our communities. You guys are the contributors. You are the changers of that. And you, and you need to conduct yourself in this manner. You need to look at these policies and be scrutinizing when it comes down to did you get an opportunity to bid. This young lady back here was discussing that she's looking for an architect. We got architects. Man, we got a company called Tribe that's part of the B-Sale, the small emerging businesses in Valdosta, put on by the city. And it seemed as if that's a big joke that that no one is really putting the emphasis. These guys that was put on the spotlight, all on the television, and they'll close their doors. I know I might not have very much time left, but I want to tell you this. We are sick and tired of it, and we want to get something done, and we're going to do everything in our power to have something done. On that note there, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Robson. Mr. Grimes, school. Yes, I pass. Uh, Okay. I'll go to the next one. First of all, I want to express my uh, appreciation for the opportunity to speak to you tonight. I have some questions that I want to ask, and I hope that uh, they will be answered tonight. Reverend Lutherkeep, remind this is a one-way street.